Decision trees are a type of predictive modeling used in HR analytics. They help companies make data-driven decisions about many areas of human resource management, uh, such as hiring, managing employees' performance, keeping them on, and helping them grow. Decision trees are useful tools for visualizing how decisions are made. They do this by showing the process as a tree, with each node representing a decision, each branch representing a possible outcome, and each leaf node representing the final decision or prediction. Let's discuss in detail the different aspects of using decision tree in HR analytics. We shall first start with the definition of the decision tree itself. So by definition, decision trees are a type of predictive modeling technique used to classify or predict outcomes based on input variables. They recursively partition the data into subsets based on the values of input variables, thereby creating a tree-like structure of decisions. The primary objectives of using decision trees in HR analytics are number one, predict and understand factors influencing employee behavior and outcomes such as turnover, performance and engagement. Number two, identify key predictors or drivers of HR outcomes to inform decision making and strategic initiatives. Number three, segment the workforce into meaningful groups based on common characteristics or attributes. And number four, automate and streamline decision making processes such as candidate screening, performance evaluation and talent identification. Now there are several key components of decision trees. The first key component is called the root node. The root node is the topmost node of the decision tree. It represents the initial decision or question to be answered. Decision nodes are intermediate nodes in the decision tree that represent decisions or criteria used to split data into subsets based on input variables. The branches originate from decision nodes and represent possible outcomes or options based on the decision criteria. Leaf nodes are terminal nodes of the decision tree that represent final decision or prediction. A splitting criteria is the criteria used to partition the data at each decision node. Pruning involves removing branches or nodes from the decision tree to reduce complexity and improve performance. Now let's talk about some applications of decision tree in HR analytics. So the first application is recruitment and selection. Decision trees can be used to develop predictive models or screening job candidates based on criteria such as skills, experience, and cultural fit. Performance management. Decision trees can help identify factors influencing employee performance and predict performance outcomes based on variables such as training, feedback, and job satisfaction. Employee turnover prediction. Decision trees can predict the likelihood of employee turnover based on factors such as job tenure, performance ratings, and job satisfaction scores. Talent development and succession planning. Decision trees can assist in identifying high potential employees and developing succession plans based on factors such as skills, experience, and career aspirations. Workforce segmentation. Decision trees can segment the workforce into homogeneous groups based on demographics, behavioral or performance characteristics to tailor HR intervention and strategies. Retention analysis. Decision trees can analyze factors contributing to employee turnover and identify actionable insights for improving retention efforts such as addressing job dissatisfaction or career development needs. Next, we shall discuss uh, some of the implementation consideration. 
for using decision tree in HR analytics. The first consideration is data preparation. So data preparation is crucial for building accurate decision tree models. This involves cleaning, pre-processing and transforming HR data to ensure quality and consistency. Feature selection. Identifying relevant input variables or features is essential for developing effective decision tree models. Feature selection techniques such as recursive feature elimination or information gain can help identify the most predictive variables. Model training and evaluation. Decision tree models need to be trained on historical data and evaluated using techniques such as cross-validation or hold-out validation to assess their performance and generalization ability. Interpretability Decision trees offer interpretability, allowing HR professionals to understand the decision-making process and factors influencing outcomes. Visualizing decision trees and analyzing feature importance can provide valuable insights. Ensemble methods. Ensemble methods such as random forest or gradient boosting can enhance decision tree performance by combining multiple trees and reducing overfitting. Some of the benefits and outcomes of using decision trees in HR analytics. So, the first benefit is the data-driven decision-making. HR professionals can use decision trees to make data-driven decisions based on predictive models and insights derived from HR data. Efficiency and automation. Decision trees can be used to automate decision-making processes such as candidate screening or performance evaluation, saving time and resources. Predictive insights. Decision trees provide predictive insights into HR outcomes, enabling organizations to anticipate and proactively address workforce challenges. Personalized interventions. Decision trees facilitate personalized interventions by segmenting the workforce and tailoring HR strategies to the needs of different employee groups. Continuous improvement. Decision trees support continuous improvement by enabling organizations to refine and update models based on new data and evolving business needs. In conclusion, the utilization of decision trees in human resource analytics provides organizations with a powerful instrument for the purpose of predicting outcomes gaining an understanding of the factors that influence employee behavior and making decisions based on data in order to optimize HR techniques and initiatives.